we're standing a little too close. A little bit. Our trio of hardcore jailbreakers had a blast <laughs> testing this myth. <laughs> Can a convict armed with a cannon, black powder, and a ball and chain fire himself to freedom? But this one we've saved just for the web. Goes to show what can happen when the team gets, well, a little bit overexcited. Now, in case for some reason these balls and chains aren't enough to get Buster over the wall, I have a backup plan. This big, giant wooden dowel. What I'm gonna do is attach it to Buster's back and then insert this into the cannon. That way, it'll work like a piston, and all that energy from the cannon will be transferred directly to Buster, and this will be his ticket out of prison. And just to make sure Buster gets a good send-off, the team have armed the cannon with three times the normal amount of black powder. You know, I'm pretty sure in scientific terms, there's a name for this. All right, so this is replicating the results. Wooden piston in Buster's back. Here we go. Okay. Or you could just call it fun. Buster went maybe, I don't know, 20 feet? <laughs> yeah, but your log made it over. <laughs> that was awesome. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that cannonball left the muzzle at nearly 290 miles an hour, taking Buster with it and putting him under six G-forces of crushing pressure. Poor old Buster never stood a chance. Wow, he got close to the wall, <laughs> but he didn't quite make it. Oh, man. Look, he was almost, he was halfway there. <laughs> he was halfway to escaping. Oh, punch right. Uh, I split him in half. That's that cool. is crazy. That is morbid. Wow. Well, well, either way you look at it, he's still free. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's make like Buster and split. <laughs> <laughs> But before we do tear ourselves away from this one, let's spare a thought for Buster. Poor Buster. I would just like to take a moment to recognize him for risking life and limb for the betterment of science on television.